have you ever thought about what it's going to be like in the future? Doesn't the fact that you don't know annoy you? As humans, we strive for knowledge, intelligence, and understanding. But what's it really all about if we don't know what's going to happen? <sighs> all we can do is guess. One of you watching this now could be the next prophet. Or maybe in 500 years' time, we all just magically come back to life. Or maybe we don't. Maybe we all die. And the only thing left on the planet is plants. Maybe we are the only living things left in the universe. Maybe none of that is true. Maybe the gods come down and help us re rebuild what we have previously destroyed. Maybe there is no religion. There could just be one. Maybe a big duck will come down and rule us all. Maybe. But then maybe we'll have an all-female world. Or we all have both sets of genitalia, so we don't have to, you know. Maybe there'll be no genitalia. Wouldn't it be great if we could grow wings and fly around the world? Or there could just be a tunnel that's built around the world, so you could just go around in one day. Or you could shrink to the size of ants and make big houses made out of mud. What happens if none of that's true? And we're all just dead. Isn't that the most logical answer? I mean, I suppose it is a logical answer, but I mean, any minute aliens could come down and take us away for testing. The beauty is in not knowing what the future is going to be like. And for all we know, we could be born with one leg and hop around for the rest of our lives. Or maybe we can have a sort of wheel so that makes uh, travelling easier and quicker. What if Donald Trump was actually being brainwashed by his hair. Yes, it was actually his hair that was evil and racist and wanted to hide behind a wall. Wall is life. Wall is love. <clears throat> what happens if, um if, say, all the countries are just one big blob stuck together and you jump from country to country, so you could just jump from America over to India and you're there. But the climate stay the same. So you're jumping from, like, really, really cold to really, really hot. Maybe. There will only be a certain amount of people left. So we'll have to go live on an island like Madagascar so we know where everyone is, and we don't lose anyone, so we can just live on forever. What happens if the population is too big? And you have to do a Hunger Games type scenario with a hundred people, and doing it twice a year. But maybe there'll be a perfect amount of people everywhere, and every country will get on. So there'll be no war, and you can say whatever you want without offending anyone. Climate change. I think that we will be all underwater in the future. And so we're just going to have to follow the steps of our good friend Noah and build an ark and all become sea men. But what happens if we, we see climate change for being really, really bad and we uh, decide to try and fix it before it gets like that? That could be a massive war. Like, you know, like World War Three, but massive. Um, everyone uses nuclear warheads, and then the world suddenly becomes a wasteland. Maybe. There'll be no government, and we have to cage them up like animals, and we'll yeah. sort of parade them through the streets naked and get to throw tomatoes at them, just like the older days. Yeah. What if, what if David Cameron 
actually paid back the money he stole. What if, in the, in the future, we forget how to talk? So then the only way we can communicate is by, uh, you know, text messages or um, stuff like social media and technology and stuff like that. You know, <clears throat> text messages and, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, maybe um, maybe we'll lose all technology and uh, we'll like have to go back to the Stone Ages because we've forgotten everything and have to hunt animals with wooden spears. What happens if technology becomes way more advanced and they start making human robots and therefore the human race becomes extinct because these robots sound like us, they eat like us, I don't know, they just are us, and you can't tell who's human and who's robot. But what if, in the future, you could sell yourself as like a helper, you know, like a, um, a slave, per se, you know, you can go around, you know, help people in their houses, tidy up and stuff, but you know, there'd be rules and regulations because, you know, slaves, they're, they're not right, are they? But you know, like, um, you could sell yourself, be a cleaner and stuff like that. But you, you'd only do it if you're like really hungry, you know? Like slaves were, you know? <laughs> slaves. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe evolution will start to go backwards and we'll start turning into like monkeys. <coughs> and, uh, what? Uh, no, no, no. Not like that, but we'll, uh, we'll keep all the brains and, uh, and we'll not have to make everything, and we just get to swing from trees and have fun. What together. happens if, if ISIS succeeds, and the world becomes fully Islamic? Mm. Um, and obviously, if you don't believe in that, then you get killed off. Jihadi! That's Hitler's um, way. What if there was a revolution to stop that, of course? ISIS, and they trained master assassins to reclaim what was theirs. No. No idea. What if, in the future, we develop the means to speak to animals, but only the important animals, you know, like cats and dogs and stuff like that. And, you know, because you see, we dedicate all our time to speak to animals, but after we develop it, we, we, speak, we speak to our pets and, you know, Turns out they actually just hate us, they're just using us for food because we're making them like idiots all the time. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, that could happen. Maybe, maybe cats, they'll, what they'll do is they'll make like a really big like gang or a cult and they'll start killing people that don't like them. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they'll, they'll basically just take over the world and they'll make our houses into cardboard boxes just for their pleasure. What if B.O.B., hmm. you know in one of his songs he said the world is becoming flat? What if the world is actually becoming flat and the people were kind of like on the edges of just like falling off? And then people are like, oh my god, where have they gone? But then no one knows where they've gone because to be quite honest, they're just falling off and they're just floating around in space somewhere, to be quite honest. But what if that actually happens? Maybe the world, the world will come, become so inhospitable that we can't live on it anymore and we have to move to another planet but we adapt to breathe in outer space and we can just fly around hmm. but what if technology listen listen to this instead of armies and wars and stuff we'll still have wars but you fight wars like you're playing like call of duty or something so you have two teams of like specialist robots and stuff and then you'd be controlling it from your little bunker, they'd be controlling it as like, until like one set of robots die and then the other one's like named Victors and stuff. Yeah. Well, they're not gonna be called Victor, but you know, Victor is in like yeah. victory. What if in the future, we find out that we are actually a colony of bacteria on a single blade of grass? Ooh. And that when anyone runs past us or bumps into us, that is all our natural disasters, hurricanes, tsunamis, you name it. Yeah. Look, 
Ooh. What happens if they bring back the death penalty? You know, um, you could die for the tiniest little things, like stealing a chocolate bar. Of what? A chocolate bar. If you stole a chocolate bar. Just steal a chocolate If you were to steal a chocolate bar in the future, you could die from it. Or maybe euthanasia will be allowed, but only if, only if you're really, yeah. really sick and you'll never get better and you're just going to die anyway. Oh my god, I've just got it. I've just worked out. What if, listen, in the future, you don't actually think about the future? Because when you're in the future, you're actually in the present day. We live for the moment. How you create the future is by making a change. What are we going to do to make a change? We are the, the spark. What, what, what are you guys doing? 